Daniel Dubai delivered a stunning knockout of Anthony Joshua in the fifth round, successfully defending his IBF heavyweight world title. Here's what the experts are saying about the fight. Was it a shock, what you watched? No, not at all. I, I always stated that the better uh, man was going to win the day, and Dubois was the better man. He capitalized on uh, Joshua's faults, and he won the fight. Keeping him, and I, and I said from the beginning, the tactics of his fight was to put the other guy on the back foot. And it was about the back, it was going to be about who, who can control the fight with a jab. Daniel did that from the first bell, and that was the key to it. And as I said, you know, plenty of interviews with him, he said, the fighter that goes on the back foot will get beat. Yeah, you did say who lands the first shot, and Daniel really was the boss from the first round frame. He was, but he had to end, you know, he had to go and, he had to go and, he had to go and stamp his authority on the fight, and that's what he did. He stamped his authority. It's heavyweight boxing, boys, it happens. Happens. You get knocked spark out, it could have been me, it could have been you, it could have been anybody. In the heavyweight division, it's what happens. One punch away from what, being smashed, knocked out. What went wrong, you feel, with the game plan that Joshua had in that I first think round? what went wrong is what always goes wrong in heavyweight boxing. Good right under on the end of the chin. And that was it. Can yeah, you come back from this, Tyson? I don't know, unless it's up to the man and it, whatever he wants to do. If he's got a, um, got a good ambition to come back again and do it, he's got the right. I don't know. Listen, he has to make his own decisions. He's a big boy, isn't he? What did you really think? You think it was your opinion earlier? But generally, out of us, what did you think was going to happen tonight? I mate? thought it was a 50 50 fight. Yeah. God's honest truth. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Right? What went wrong for his opinion? I said to Joe Cordina, and that's why I said he was. He needs to throw some backhands. He threw a backhand, and then over the minute the fight was over, unbelievable. Wow. So, in your opinion, where does AJ go from here, Ricky? Where do you want? I'd, to I'd like to see him retire as a friend. Yeah. I don't want to, you know. He's, he's been a two-time world champion. Mm -hmm. He's in the country proud. I'd like to see him uh, hang his gloves up and enjoy his retirement. Dillian, did that surprise you that tonight? No, I'm not surprised. Hey, wait, what, do you what do you make of Daniel De Poire and how he's got on the past few years? He's really sort of... Right. Pick this back up. Obviously, De Poire's been through a lot in his career. When you see a story like this, obviously you've been through your ups and downs as well. Just heavyweight boxing. Were you, did it, none, of, none of this surprise you tonight at all? No, no, no. It's heavyweight boxing. you got two guys who can punch. They're massive punches. So, you know, this thing can happen. <laughs> what do you think of the fight, bro? Man. It's, it's a boxing, it's, it's, it's the boxing game, it's the fight game, it's the heavyweight division, anything can happen. What went wrong for AJ, man? Man, one punch can change the whole night. Yeah. You know, uh, just overall, how'd you feel Dubois fought in there? The he brought a good he, fight, he won. Yeah. He, 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 he knocked him out when he was hurt, so he fought a good fight. I think, man, crazy it was, result, right? It was, it was a great fight. I think Joshua, you know, got overconfident. Yeah. You know, he hurt him. He hurt him with a shot and went for the kill, but he forgot about his defense and forgot, you know what I mean, about the fundamentals. Mm. What would you like to see each do? Where does Joshua go from here, bud? Where does this squad go from here? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Cut it off. Mm. Round one, obviously, Joshua floored in that first round. Your thoughts on that? Hey, he came to fight, and you can see it in his eyes. He wasn't leaving out the ring without that victory. Can Joshua come back from this? Uh, I don't know. Joshua been in a lot of wars. He fought a lot of great fighters. I think he can, but you know it's going to be tough because he got a lot of wear and tear on his body uh, coming into this. Were you impressed with Daniel Dubois? Sorry. Were you impressed with Daniel Dubois tonight? Good performance. Yes, good performance. How much are you looking forward to the Tyson Fury fight in December? I don't think about it because I think only my prepare. My wife, my child. Did you speak to Tyson tonight? That's the same. Yeah, it was the same, mate. You know, once he got caught, mate, from the early doors, we said, we said whoever learned the first punch, they're going to win. And he done that, mate. And he done that. And he done it well. Connor, what do you think? Crazy, crazy. Connor, my guy. Yes, bro. Well, man. What went wrong for AJ? I'm not sure I stayed for him and it's team to, to find out, but that was wild. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But listen, when you've got big punches in there, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's just one of them things, man. It's crazy. Where does AJ Congrats. go from here? Congrats, bro. Does he uh, beat... 
Usyk in a rematch if he beats Fury if they were to fight. Wait, Dubois for Usyk? Yeah. Oh the, yeah, with the long blow, the long blow. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, it's, that, it's the heavyweight division, man. You guys can all fight each other, beat each other. One can beat one, the other one can't can beat. It's just Brilliant. But uh, credit to him and his team. We rolled the dice at success and we come up short. But I want to say, everyone in Wembley, I appreciate you coming out this evening. You know I'm pissed. You know I'm ready to kick off in the ring, but I'm going to keep my cool and keep very professional and give the respect to my opponent. I'm sure he'll exercise that rematch clause. I mean, I think that's a, a given, but he'll need a rest. And it's a dangerous fight. This guy's grinding confidence all the time. But he'll believe he can hurt Dubois. He'll believe he can beat him, but full credit to Daniel Dubois. He deserves all the credit tonight. It was a great performance from Daniel. You know, behind the scenes, the work with my dad, you know, um, you know, all my family and, you know, my, my strong team here, they've helped me get through this. So, God bless you all, man. Lost for words. Daniel said he was going to knock him out in the sixth round. He did it in the fifth. And I'm so happy because I want to go to bed. <laughs> Stan. Stan, you said it was... <laughs> Dan, you said it was your son. You said it was your son's destiny. This. This is his destiny. That's why we came out with Daniel in the Lions. Den. That's why we came out with Daniel in the Lions. Then. I'm a great believer. I'm a. I'm a great believer. I've got a lot of faith, and I knew tonight was Daniel's night. He was so dominant. Because everyone was saying he was gonna get knocked out, and now. They all got quiet and left the venue in 10 seconds. <laughs> you know what? On that note, I'll let you finish. Yeah. Congratulations. On Saturday night, we witnessed an electrifying clash between Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois with anticipation at an all-time high. The excitement wasn't limited to the ring. Friday's press conference set the stage as both fighters radiated confidence and made bold statements. Their spirited exchanges hinted at the intensity of the upcoming bout. As we look back at the expert opinions leading up to this fight, one notable voice in boxing, David Afalabi, made headlines with his prediction. Having sparred with both fighters, he offered a unique insight into their strengths. Afalabi emphasized Joshua's boxing intelligence and the importance of his support team, noting, AJ doesn't always get the credit he deserves. Look at his victories over top-tier opponents like Povetkin, Pulev, and Parker. He highlighted Joshua's experience as a significant advantage, suggesting that while Dubai's has power, Joshua's strategic edge could be decisive. In the lead-up to the match, boxing promoter Dean White also shared his thoughts. Known for his deep ties within the sport, White expressed his support for Joshua. He remarked, Daniel is a humble young man on a tremendous run, but experience, talent, and speed are key factors in boxing. Joshua is the more polished fighter, White acknowledged Dubois' impressive wins, but cautioned that if he gets caught early, like he did against Horovic, he may struggle. Joshua's seasoned approach to finishing opponents could play a crucial role in the fight's outcome. We'll see how things unfold, but I wish both fighters the best of luck. Dean White's emphasis on Joshua's finishing power and strategic advantage underscores critical factors that influence the fight's outcome. As we reflect on the result, did Joshua's experience and ability to finish fights meet White's expectations, or did Dubois' recent form and resilience provide a surprising twist? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Leading up to the fight, Brandon Scott also shared a bold prediction about the Joshua vs. Dubois matchup. Known for his candid and colorful insights, Scott confidently stated, I think Joshua will knock out Dubois in the first half of the fight. Both are huge men, let's face it, they're mutants. If they punch 90% of the population, they'd probably kill them. Their arms look like legs, they're incredible fighters. While he acknowledged Dubois' recent grit, Scott pointed out that taking shots from Joshua is risky. He added, look at Joshua, he's like a Greek god. You can't grit through a fight with him. 
Du Bois is open in areas where Joshua excels, and given Joshua's recent performances, I believe he'll knock out Du Bois within four rounds. Now, as we look back on the fight, did Joshua's performance align with Scott's prediction, or did Du Bois manage to defy the odds? Share your thoughts in the comments. In the comments below, boxing analyst Boston shared his insights on the Anthony Joshua vs. Daniel Dubois fight, focusing on both fighters' mental and physical preparations. Boston noted, Yeah, that's to say AJ, but Dubois is no mug, they come in very game and well prepared. I feel like he's crossed the bridge mentally and has done well in his last few performances. He pointed out that Dubois showed some weaknesses in the Haravik fight, where he struggled with the backhand early on. There's a difference between a Haravik backhand and AJ's backhand, he cautioned. While he acknowledged Dubois' potential adjustments, Boston ultimately predicted an AJ victory. Boston's analysis underscores the skill gap between Dubois and Joshua, particularly regarding their ability to handle powerful punches. This sets the stage for further perspectives on the fight's outcome. Giorgio Violi, a respected boxing analyst, weighed in as well, offering his tactical insights. I think AJ wins. I believe he'll take him out in the early rounds, Violi confidently stated. He observed that Dubois tends to come alive later in fights, but felt Joshua's power would make an early impact. I do believe that Dubois can bounce back if he loses, as he's still very young. Obviously, he's taken a lot of punches, so we'll see but I see AJ winning quite comfortably. His prediction reinforces the sentiment that Joshua's early finishing ability could give him an edge. Shane Watson, a well-known boxing commentator, also shared his thoughts on Joshua's current form. This is very different, he remarked. I rate Philip Hergovich to an extent. I think he's a good fighter, but you're talking about an elite heavyweight in Anthony Joshua, who is proven at the very top level. We have to give him respect. Watson's analysis emphasizes the caliber of competition Joshua has faced and the respect he commands in the boxing world. Shane Watson praised Anthony Joshua's impressive comeback under Ben Davidson, acknowledging that his recent performances have been notable, even if against limited opposition. He highlighted Joshua's superior experience and skills compared to other fighters in the division. We can't give Hergovich or any of these other fighters too much respect boxing-wise. Hergovich is a decent B-level heavyweight, maybe a gatekeeper, but he's not world-class, Watson stated. He noted that stylistically, Hergovich was made for Joshua, emphasizing how much better Joshua looked in those recent fights compared to the one against Hergovich, where he took some significant shots. Watson pointed out the improvements Joshua has made with his new training team and how these changes have positively impacted his performance. He emphasized Joshua's strategic advantage, mentioning that Ben Debitson has found a way to mold the two Joshuas together, the ruthless AJ from the past who always went for the knockout, and the defensive AJ who works behind the jab. This combination has made Joshua a very dangerous fighter capable of setting up his attacks effectively, positioning him as potentially the best in the heavyweight division. Reflecting on Watson's analysis, it's clear that Joshua's refined approach and strategic evolution made him a formidable opponent for Daniel Dubois. His blend of aggression and tactical finesse created high expectations for the bout. Now that the fight is over, did Joshua's performance align with Watson's predictions, or did Dubois present an unexpected challenge? We'd love to hear your thoughts on how the fight played out and what this means for the heavyweight division.